Hi, this is Chef Dave Bishop for the Chef To You. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'd like to show you how to make a pecan crusted chicken. Delicious baked chicken uh, tenders that I think the whole family will enjoy. Let's take a look at our ingredients to get started. We have three steps today. We're going to start out with our buttermilk, which is one half cup, one tablespoon of hot sauce, and we got eight chicken tenders right here. For our bread, we got one sleeve of rich crackers, one cup, of roasted pecans. I roasted this about three minutes and let it chill down. I've got a half teaspoon of garlic, half teaspoon of uh, tarragon leaves, one quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and one quarter teaspoon of paprika. Over here for our sauce, while our chicken is cooking in the oven, we're going to go ahead and make a nice uh, rich sauce go on there. We got olive oil and butter. We got some more tarragon, one half teaspoon, quarter cup of uh, pecans, one half cup of uh, heavy cream, and we have one quarter cup of honey. Let's go and get started with our marinating. Let's go and take one tablespoon of hot sauce and place it in our one half cup of buttermilk. Now we're just going to add our uh, chicken tenders. Make sure they get coated on both sides. We'll set this in the refrigerator 10-15 minutes while we do some other tasks and then we just come get it. You can hold this probably up to about two or three hours. I would not suggest leaving it in the buttermilk and hot sauce overnight, but a couple hours at the most. Let's go ahead and put this in the refrigerator. Let's go ahead and add uh, one sleeve of Ritz crackers into this uh, chopper. You can use a large, larger chopper if you want to. You want to grind these up to a real fine sand. We're going to add a half teaspoon of granulated garlic, a half teaspoon of tarragon, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, a quarter teaspoon of paprika, we're not going to add our pecans this time. I don't want them to ground as fine as I do the uh, crackers. Let's go ahead and add our pecans. We don't want to chop them quite as fine as we did the crackers. Our crumbs into the bowl. We'll start breading up this chicken. Let's go ahead and bread our chicken up. We'll take our chicken tenders, drip off the excess buttermilk, set it in here. This is my dry hand, my wet hand. Let's go ahead and bread this up. I like to cover it and press down on the uh, chicken. Then I can just shake off the excess and set it here on the tray. Let's finish up our last two pieces here. Yeah, our breading is working out just about right with the amount of chicken. This is eight to nine pieces of chicken. Uh, four servings, two chicken breasts per person. You will notice when they come out of the oven, this chicken shrinks very little. Nice, healthy portion. I'm going to take these chicken tenders, put them in a 375 degree oven for 8 to 10 minutes, and we'll check them and make sure they're done. Let's add about 2 teaspoons of olive oil. Let's use about a teaspoon to a tablespoon of butter, your preference. We're going to let this melt. Our butter and olive oil are getting hot. Let's go ahead and add about 2 tablespoons of finely chopped onions. Yes, I did not mention those earlier. I apologize. Saute these to a nice uh, golden brown on the edges. We don't want to brown them completely just to get that good flavor of those onions. As you see, we're on a medium heat, but this is going to cook very quickly. This sauce is only going to take us a couple minutes to be done. We'll set it aside, let it simmer. When our chicken comes out in about five minutes from now, everything will be ready at the same time. Okay, our onions are where we want them, and the little brown tips on them. We're going to add a pecan, stir those in. This is going to move real quick here, folks. Now pay attention. We're going to put our quarter teaspoon of uh, tarragon, quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Stir that around. We're going to take a quarter cup of honey. We're going to squeeze out of the bottle so we don't make a mess in the container. Stir that around. It's going to cook real nice. We're going to come up here with our heavy cream, one half teaspoon one half cup, pour that in, delicious, that combination of that honey, those roasted pecans, a little bit of flavor from the onions, tarragon's got its own awesome flavor, and of course that heavy cream, you can't beat it. We're going to let this simmer about two or three minutes while we're waiting on our chicken to get finished. Let's take a look at our sauce. Uh, we don't want a rolling boil. It's, uh, it's starting to boil over here. I want to take it off the stove. We have reached the thickness we want. See that nice 
thickness right here. I'm gonna go ahead and set this on the back burner. My chicken just came out of the oven. Now it's a nice golden brown color to it. Nice and crispy. Didn't shrink hardly at all. Gonna make a great plate presentation when we put it on this tray in just a minute. Let's go ahead and zoom in so you can see the fine crust that's on here, but the little chunks of pecans where we did not grind it up uh, as fine as we did the breadcrumbs really makes a nice presentation. Let's go ahead and place these chickens on top of these sauté noodles. We're going to make a presentation that we would put in front of our company. Nice beautiful display with our noodles underneath. We're going to take a sauce right here. This pecan crusted chicken speaks for itself. These noodles speak for themselves. But this sauce right here just brings it over the top. We're going to take and pour it right down the center. Let's take a look at our finished product. We got our pecan crusted chicken tenderloins laying on a bed of sauteed noodles and we have a sauteed pecans heavy cream honey sauce over the top. Beautiful presentation, beautiful flavor. I believe you'll really enjoy this. Before we leave today, let me show you a picture of some pecan crusted chicken that I did at a, a banquet just recently. Had a lot of good reviews on it. Uh, heard a lot of wows when people put it in the mouth for the first time. In a uh, beautiful presentation, real fun dish. You can do this for a large crowd or just for just three or four people at home. Your company will love it. This is Chef Dave Bishop cooking and teaching. Until next time, may God bless.